Welcome everyone to exercise number 11a, I think, and in this exercise I would like to sh introduce you to the dissolve function, which is something like a better merge function uh, for editing polygons in our case here. And, uh, well, what is the difference between merge and dissolve? A dissolve is something like merging and keeping an eye on the attribute table as well and um, the merge is done using information from the attribute table so there are attributes maybe your merge is based on and in our case here we have some land and I think it's somewhere in the US and what we are interested in is how how are the values of these land and in values I mean money uh, money value so let's look on this attribute table from the stands uh, shapefile here and there's a value per meter so this is sixty four dollars per meter and you have a shape area multiplying this with that and um, dividing by one million means that this stand here it has a value of one million uh, US dollars so um, let's have a look on that. There's this lease ID, which is something like a region or a parcel or whatever. Um, and we will use the lease ID as the yeah the basis for our merge. And so how to merge, how to dissolve this uh, this type here? Uh, first of all, open the Arc toolbox and um, this is already open here and you can search for that by using here looking for all and in the fact this uh, search function is a little bit corrupted in the first version of ArcGIS what we will use is we will search for the solve well nothing found we can have to solve data network as you can see here it's something from the data management and nothing is happening and I've got also an error here so um, well as you can see here is it is sad it's called data management um, let's have a look on data management so there's data management and yeah it's already open I'm sorry for that but uh, you can have a look here in features because we are looking here at features so you will f no, not find anything um, you can go to generalization because it's a way to generalize uh, your data but uh, if you are not able to find it here or to find your special um, function here always open the help here or the real help and not this embedded one and you can find um, keywords here the solve data management you will have a look on the illustration so you have a multiple input and you will create um, output with a different cardinality is it the right word so um, you can do that for polygons as well as for uh, lines here as you can see there's a usage button and uh, you will have um, samples for Python as well as for uh, standalone scripts and um, um, normally it is also able to or you'll, you will be able to open the thing from the help function so but we will skip that we will go here into the generalization the solve function double clicking on it and what you are now expected is to give an input so what shall be dissolved of course and well, we in this project 11a we all only have one layer available which is called stands and you are forced to create an output so give it a name well let's say these are lease and don't be confused this is a feature class so don't use .shp which will produce some kind of an error just leave it blank and use lease because it's part of this geo database you don't need that file extension so the dissolve fields let's uh, right, uh, just click in here the field or fields on which the aggregate features uh, on which to aggregate features so we would like to aggregate each feature which has a lease ID of 1 
of two and three and so on. So what we will use is we will use or not yeah the lease ID here uh, to create that. So one more thing is the statistics field. So you can reorganize your values um, from the input to the output. So what we will use is we will use the stand value and well click error and warning icons for more information let's click there what is needed statistic method is empty well you're a little bit too fast ArcGIS I will use it as well so we will concentrate on the sum of the stand value and another interesting s thing might be stand value the mean value and now oh, well it's fairly easy just click on OK uh, normally this globe is spinning and this this solve is listed here in my case I'm not uh, all the results won't be shown on the window because I have turned that thing off here in the geoprocessing options in the fact if you can produce a lot of output with um, with geoprocessing tasks let's say you will create 450 different shape files and these will be listed here in the layers which will crash your ArcGIS um, program. So what I've done here is uh, I, I think I've turned that thing off that he will not produce here and then or maybe it's called uh, it's in the environments. He will not create that as a di um, at on this um, table view here. So I, w I need to go to results right click and say here add to display. So now this is shown. We'll close the results again here are the uh, here's the output of my function called lease we'll right click on the attribute table to have a look on that so what we are having here we have the sum values and the mean stand values and you can still differentiate uh, using the lease ID uh, ID and um, let's have a second just a second look on the attribute table what you can see here the shape length and shape uh, area we will have a look on that so shape area here is 175 for a shape area is adjusted so the area um, is summed up as well so let's adjust the representation on the screen as we have n as we have seen in prior videos using categories unique values using the lease ID click on add all values say ok and there we are this is ex this was exercise number 11a thank you all for watching um, if you like my videos I will be pleased to get some kind of a donation for a nice beer maybe uh, or just click on one of my advertisements uh, which are on the lower side of these videos which will give me some sense for that and yeah take care and goodbye